Hi guys. So Sunday night, second to last night at work. Just wanted to share. Um, my coworkers decided that they wanted to give me a sorry here it's fixing the camera. Um, a send off. Um, I've been with Canada Post for almost 17 years. Most of it has been here in London, Ontario at the plant. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody. You guys uh, made me feel special tonight, leaving. Um, I know I'm there tomorrow for one more day, uh, partial day anyway, kind of like today was. And um, yeah, we'll get to this. Show you guys the goodie bundle. There's a puppy. And then here is the goodie bundle. And a puppy. Uh, so, snacks for the road trip. Lots of snacks. Coffee bars. Potato chips. All kinds of stuff. Just little snacks for on the go. Party mix. All kinds of fun stuff in there. Um, lots of fun things. Hey, you, madam. I'm getting bugged by a puppy. You can't see the little bugger trying to get to me. Um, <laughs> I knew she'd like this. Hi, Bowie. You can't have no chocolate. I knew she'd like this. <laughs> by the way, I know you guys didn't realize that, but these are her So, um... Lots of goodies for the road, which made me kind of chuckle because it's going to be quite the trip to get out there. As you can hear, life's about to get a little wild at my house. We've got some parties going on here with the puppies. You can see behind me. Um, and then we have one interested soul. She's very interested in what is going down in the box. So, um, some scratch tickets. I get to play the code. Yes, you do. Maybe. I don't know. Should she? Should we let her scratch some scratch tickets? Look at these Are things. you sure? Look at these things. So I thought that was super, super cool. I've never seen scratch tickets like this. But hey, you know what, guys? Uh, I said it tonight at the work meeting that if, um, if I win, y'all coming out. Some point for a visit. <laughs> um, I thought these were absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Just a girl who loves goats. My socks. Totally down with socks. You got another interested, interested little dude right there. Little Rowan. Rowan's going to grow up and be a massive monstrosity protector of farm and stock. That little shack on the flat, in case you're wondering. This is a 14 week old Catahoula mix. He's already like 30 pounds, more than 30 pounds. Like, ridiculously more. Um, this, because I thought this was awesome, it says, money can't buy happiness. But it can buy goats, <laughs> which is yeah. pretty much the same thing, which I'm pretty sure we're going to find out. And the last thing, which I thought was super, super cool. Again, I know what's in here because I opened this at work in front of all my coworkers so that everybody could see what uh, would have been purchased on my behalf. Um, coffee mug. We'll do enough morning videos. You'll see. I'm a coffee connoisseur. Huh. I am two goats oh. past normal. Yep, she is. Pretty soon I'm going to be more than two goats past normal. <laughs> Are you sure about that? No. I will never be normal. <laughs> so, um, again, this was absolutely awesome. I love the bag. I love the bag. Who knows? Maybe we'll get one of those llama. No, no. What good are llamas besides for wool? They're good pets, eh? Maybe. 
if, well, if you have any comments, we'd like to hear it. Any ideas on what we should consider for farming? Pets, let us know. <laughs> so I thought this was super cool. Um, I've worked for Canada Post for almost 17 years. Um, made a lot of really good friends there, I would think. Um, at least friends. <laughs> Uh, so this actually kind of caught me off guard a little bit today. I wasn't expecting quite what I got when I opened this up. And I just want to say thank you to everybody before I open this and show you. Um, it really did mean a lot to me today uh, coming into work and receiving this from everybody. I, uh, um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm very grateful for everybody and you guys have been there with me through a lot through all my health struggles and trials and tribulations over the last 16 or so years and I started at Canada Post in 2006 and was diagnosed with lupus in 2008 I believe the end of 2008 beginning of 2009 and then diagnosed with fibromyalgia the very following year um, again, it's getting loud in here because of the dogs. Oh, there they go. Craziness ensues. So I'm going to try and get through this really quickly. Um, again, amazing guys. Like, you guys really made me feel special. Best part is, everyone, there's the back. So again, guys, like, this is incredible. Uh, shout out to my work bestie. Always a phone call away. Always. And the same goes for you. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate you know, everything you guys have done for me over the years and especially recently. Um, like I said, the craziness is ensuing back here. So, on that note, uh, we're going to sign off again. Thank you. I think Nikki feels the same. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll see my coworkers tomorrow for the last time and um, sure I'll upload some kind of video <laughs> about it. So, okay. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Good night. Little sack on the flat out. Out.